two, four, six, eight, ten, twelve, fourteen, sixteen, eighteen, twenty. Twenty sheep. Twenty ewes. I have three inside. Crystal, kestrel, and little bit. Come on, pups. Come on. Yeah, clear pup. Yeah. Putting up the fencing to move the horses to a new paddock. Oh, Maya, you were so sweet, wagging your tail on top of the quad. So busy. And look at who wants to get up on top of the quad. So he has a view. Ooh, there we go. Now, you can see all over. So the horses are going to graze this strip here. Oop, oh, 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 there. There you go. Silly pup. I know. Okay, so back to work fencing. Jonathan's loving this stone wall. There's a drop of about four foot below him. So it's an embankment. You can kind of see it going along there. But here he can see great distances. So for a tiny dog, it's quite a view. You like that, don't you? Little foxy face. <laughs> see, he has a great view. Oh, and somebody's whistling, which makes it very exciting. <laughs> I don't know who's whistling, but somebody's whistling. Loving his view. This little plantation of trees. I have, uh, there's a spindle. Here's a rowan. Here's the oak tree that inspired this plantation. It was self-sown. The sheep hadn't eaten it. So I said, okay, I'll make a little oak tree. Here's a spindle. Here's another rowan. Then we have a problem. Somebody's been digging in the roots of this rowan. So I had to push this back in. They've done a right mess down here. Anyway, right here, this is a crab apple. So, I'm gonna have to uh, mine these this coming season, this, or next summer. Here's a spindle. And what's here? The stake is representing something. So something was here. It might have been a rowan or, ow, that's a thistle. There's nothing here. Somebody could have reached through the electric fence and the wire and eaten whatever was here. Could have been a Gilda Rose. Anyway, I'll probably plant something again here. So I'm gonna have to be mindful of this little plantation, particularly those who reach through the fence to graze and browse my little baby trees. So I'm very excited about this crab apple. So I'm really gonna have to protect this when things are grazing on that side. I'll have to put an electric fence See how I have the electric fence here and the wire there. I'll have to do the same on this stretch. I haven't done that yet because I wasn't, when I was grazing in there, this didn't really have the trees in it yet. Anyway, look at the um, chicory. It's doing really well in here. This is gonna have another lovely long rest this year. So it's only been grazed a few times for medicinal purposes. And the sheep loved it, as did the horses. Look at you, you want to come in here, don't you? So I have to lean on this to climb over that. How are you? So yeah, loads of lovely chicory. It's really good. Uh, its roots go really, really deep. 
and this is a limestone. There are places where I can't get the electric uh, fence stakes in, but an inch or two if I'm lucky. So that's why I've sown a lot of the chicory in here because it's got deep, deep roots and it can make create cracks and stones and deal with the compaction. Just like these guys, these are dock leaves or docks rather. So there's a good amount of chicory there. So next year, I'm hoping there'll be even a greater stand of chicory in here and their roots are gonna go even deeper to alleviate the compaction of the limestone and make more soil. So, oh look, the crows. Must be getting evening time them all to go looking for their roosts. So nearly done and I'll be able to release the horses into here. Not into here, sorry. Into this line here. Look at this. This is a chicory. It got really tall. There's the floret down at the bottom but it got taller than me. This is me standing upright. It got taller than me. But when it's that tall and that's long, that means the seeds were able to, uh, the flowers were able to fruit into seeds and either birds ate them or they're gonna add to the biodiversity on the, on the ground. There's a dog woofing down there. Yeah. Okay. You guys, are you ready? I've got it planned right they're gonna disappear up there and then they'll appear galloping along there in a minute let's see what happens still don't see them they might have paused somewhere for oh there they are And there she goes. She's gonna go galloping along there and her daughter is gonna follow. No way I could have kept up with them. Hopefully they see the fence at the far end and will stop galloping. Trick them. <laughs> I opened the gate, they all ran out. Now, hopefully you're all here now. Two, four, six, whoops. Two, four, six, eight, 10, 12, 14, 16, 18, 20. All there. I had to trick them because I forgot to close the top gate. Anyway, the trick worked and I didn't get toppled feeding them. Come on, pup. You're so clever.